Hi, I'm Mike Thompson, and I'm here with my foam cutter power supply version 2. As promised, it's been about a year now, but I finally got it done. This one is basically the same as the previous one in the other video, except this one is in a wooden laser cut case, and I have reduced the number of outputs by one to increase convenience and make it a little bit safer. Let me kind of talk you through here what I did. So my input is a standard 16 gauge extension cord coming in through this hole here in the side. It first goes to my dimmer switch. This gives me push on off. Make sure that it's push on off so that you can set your heat and then leave it there and then just tap it on and off. Coming out of the dimmer switch, I have two possibilities. I'm either going to my 120 volt outlet here or I'm going to the transformer. If I go to the 120 volt outlet, it's wired up just like any other switch that has a dimmer on it. Comes out of the dimmer, goes to the hot side, which is the small uh, hole here, the small prong. Then it comes back in the neutral side, out, out the cord. This gives me dimming control at 120 volts AC. I would use this for something like a soldering iron that doesn't have temperature control, or if I wanted to dim a light bulb, or who knows what. Anything that's 120 volts that you might want to dim, I run off of this. This other one here and everything on top goes to the transformer. So, also coming out of the dimmer switch, I go to the primary side of my SL-728 150 watt transformer. I'm still using the same kind of transformer as I did in the previous one because it's a really good transformer. But this box is staying at work, unfortunately. So, coming out of the dimmer switch into the transformer, I come out directly to my 10 amp fuse. Now, 150 watts uh, gives me 12 and a half amps on the secondary side. However, I'm not going to put a 12 and a half amp fuse in. I'm only putting a 10 amp fuse in because I want to make sure that I don't blow my transformer because the fuse is a heck of a lot cheaper than a transformer. So, coming out of the fuse, we branch two different ways. We can go over to our 12 volt 10 amp outlet over here which I would use to plug an extension cord in or a cut off something so I could go run a foam cutter that I put a plug on the end of. Or I come out to these two binding posts here that I can use either bare wires by unscrewing it or I can stick uh, simple banana plugs here in the top. Now the one little flourish I put in this one that is not in the previous one is this little indicator light here. In my previous one, uh, you can easily hear the wire humming so that I know it's on. This one is designed to be used by other people, and so I wanted a clear indication of whether it's on or not, not having to listen to the wire hum. Um, because, you know, you just don't want the wire on if you're not using it. So I put the little indicator light in here. I wired it on the secondary side of the transformer, so it's only getting 12 volts. But then I stepped that down. I put in a 1,000 ohm resistor, uh, because the forward current of this is only 20 milliamps. That gave me around 1,000 ohms. Uh, it works out fine. It's a little bit dim. Um, I could step it back, but there's really no reason to. So I left a thousand ohms here on the uh, anode that I wired on the secondary side of the transformer. Well, that's pretty much it. You can definitely do this yourself. Just don't be afraid to try. If you're still questioning about what's going on in here, check out my circuit diagram for this one, and that'll explain how everything is connected. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm Mike Thompson, and thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.